I wanted to make a quick video on the TI-BA2 Plus calculators. Now, there are a couple of versions that they offer, and the question is, which version should you purchase? There's a student version and a professional version. Over to the right here, this is the professional version. It, the newer models look a little different. There's also a student version that looks something like this. Again, the models have changed, so they don't look exactly the same. Um, but what's the difference? Well, first, the um, professional version is a little sturdier, and so that may be an advantage, especially if you're going to be using it for a long time. And it costs oh, roughly 20 to $25 more. As of this um, recording, the um, student version costs around $30, and the professional version a bit over $50. So is it worth the extra money? Well, there are a few extra features. So in the student version, when you do capital budgeting, you can compute NPV, net present value, as well as internal rate of return. The professional version allows you to compute net present value but also net future value. So if you have a stream of cash flows, unequal cash flows, and you want to know what it's worth in the future, you can do so. It also computes internal rate of return, but it also computes modified internal rate of return. Um, it does payback period, and it also does discounted payback period. So you get several other functions here that you don't get if you buy the professional version. Now, how often are you going to use net future value, modified IRR, payback period, discounted payback period? I'm not sure, but um, you know, it may come in handy. Um, the student version, in terms of the number of cash flows you can put in in the cash flow worksheet, is limited to 24 where the professional version allows you 32. And there's also a bond worksheet, and in the student version you can compute bond price and accrued interest, but in the professional version you can also compute modified duration. So as I was looking at both versions of the calculator, these seem to be about the only differences in the two. So if you're going to use this for a long time, um, might be worth the extra $25. For students, um, it may not be worth the extra money.